Why, hello there, everybody. Hope you're all doing good. I was grabbing some lunch, and I just saw the news that the first patch for the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection just released for all consoles. I'm going to go over that in this video. I did some testing of the patch myself, downloaded it, tested it out, and I will tell you what I think. And then also, I'm going to be talking about Star Wars Hunters as well. There's been some very interesting updates with this game, including a complete graphics overhaul of its lighting engine in Unreal Engine 5. And then the developers have also teased that, yes, this will be releasing very soon for the Nintendo Switch. And there's also rumors swirling that could we get this on other platforms, including Xbox and PlayStation 5. I'll be talking about that as well. But let's dive into the news, starting off with the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection patch. Because I know, like me, you have been waiting for this patch to release on consoles. As you know, the PC players already got this patch, I think about a week ago or so. And now it has finally arrived to the console. So this is what Aspire, the developers of the Battlefront Classic Collection, posted on Twitter. They said, Update 1 is available now for Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. So it's available for all platforms. And then if we head over to the blog post by Aspire Joe, he said the following as well. He said, The multiplayer experience on dedicated servers has had ample changes behind the scenes and players should expect a much better experience across all consoles. So this is very good news that they are focusing on those dedicated servers, which of course is the heart of the multiplayer experience for the Battlefront Classic Collection. So what I did was I booted up the game today, downloaded and installed the update on the PlayStation 5 and tested it out myself. What you're seeing right here is footage with the patch installed. And from my initial experience on the PlayStation 5, I would have to say that the hit detection is so much better and I'm experiencing hardly any lag. Now, I did experience some very minimal hit detection and very minimal lag, but it seems to only affect units or players that are really far in the distance so far. So we'll have to see if this keeps improving in this way, but I have seen a dramatic improvement in the hit detection when facing off against real players. Of course, in this footage, you're going to see me also face off against bots as well, but when concerning actually facing off against real players who are connected to the server as well, I've noticed that the hit detection seems much better. So hop online to Star Wars Battlefront on consoles, download the update, come back to this video, let me know how the experience is for you. Has it been improved on the Xbox, the, the Nintendo Switch, and the PlayStation 5? Let me know in your experience how it has improved. So I'm really curious to see what you all have to say about that. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all online and uh, play together this weekend because I really want to get back into Battlefront Classic Collection. I've been itching for this update like you guys have. And they also mentioned they are working on update numero two as well so we will have details on that in the very near future so i'm sure even if you do experience some lag and some hit detection still there's still improvements on the way because again i think it was like about 10 percent hit detection problems with my experience today now let's also talk about star wars hunters you know that game that's been in development ever since they announced it back in 2021. You know, they originally released a trailer. I think it was back like in February 2021. And then they, you know, made the claim that they're going to do a full launch in December of 2021, I think it was. But as you know, it has received delay after delay. And it's been stuck in a soft launch, uh, you know, across other countries. So if you're here in the United States or other countries, you have not been able to play Star Wars Hunters just yet. But I did download Star Wars Hunters on Blue Stacks, which is an app on the PC, which allows you to basically play the game on PC even though you might not be in 
the specific region the game has launched for, or soft launched for, I should say. And I played it last night, and I had, honestly, I did have a lot of fun. I played with Reeve right here, who, of course, is the Sith character in the game. And I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun with this game. I know this game gets some hate because it is uh, an iOS mobile game that's releasing on the Nintendo Switch as well. But I've seen some hints at this game becoming more than just this mobile port to the Nintendo Switch. And again, it hasn't released just yet on the Nintendo Switch. In fact, this is what uh, the developers had to say recently about this. They said, to our players who have access to Star Wars Hunters in soft launch, we've loved seeing your excitement after each update. And now we have even more to bring you. There's something for everyone to enjoy, including a brand new game mode, awesome new Hunter costumes, and a whole host of changes to Hunter abilities that change the game to be more competitive, fun, and strategic. We appreciate all the feedback we have been receiving, and we're working hard to make Hunters a truly brilliant experience. They then go on to say, to those of you who currently do not have access to Hunters, we want to assure you that more information is coming soon. We are so excited to welcome you to the arena where we know you will battle to gain galactic fame and glory against the most elite hunters. And I know what you're thinking. They've always said it's coming soon. They've been saying this for the past three years, and I totally agree with that frustration because I've been frustrated to hear them saying, oh, it's coming soon. But they did do an Unreal Engine tech demo at an Unreal Engine press conference recently, and they showed off this brand new lighting they've added to the game. This is actual footage right here from the Unreal Engine tech demo. And I found this very interesting because it kind of indicates to me that this game could indeed become more than just some port over to the Nintendo Switch. And it also indicates to me that we should indeed be receiving a solid release date for the Nintendo Switch very soon because during that Unreal Engine tech demo, the developers did say this. They said, very soon you can expect to play this game on the Nintendo Switch in a full launch capacity. So for me, I'm pretty excited about it. Again, I had a blast playing it last night on BlueStacks on my PC. And even though it didn't run perfectly, again, it's BlueStacks. It's an emulator, so it's not going to run absolutely perfectly. I'm still quite excited for this game. I know many people may roll their eyes at that, but I like the hero element to this game. The fact that you build up your character over time and that your abilities now actually unlock new enhancements as you continue to play, which is a brand new feature they announced in the most recent patch notes. And these are the patch notes right here, by the way. And let me tell you, even though this is in soft launch right now, the patch they released was absolutely massive. They did stuff like revamping all of the Hunter's abilities. They have new ways to unlock Hunters in the game. They did new ranked mode in it. They also have a new power control game mode. And then tons of gameplay changes to each individual Hunter as well. So the developers over there, they are definitely working hard to get this thing ready for launch. But it's unfortunate it's taking so long. Because as I mentioned before, we've been waiting since, I think it's, February of 2021, since that initial trailer that teased it coming out in December of 2021. So hopefully this is the magical year that we get Star Wars Hunters. Because I, for one, I'm looking forward to playing with all these heroes in the game and upgrading the heroes and, you know, unlocking new cosmetics for them and stuff like that. So let me know, are you excited for Star Wars Hunters and... Do you think that this new Unreal Engine lighting upgrade that they showcased at the Unreal Engine event indicates that we could get this game on the Xbox and the PlayStation? I really hope so. That would be a huge surprise. And I do think that this game will get some kind of cult following behind it where people love to upgrade their heroes and they enjoy this type of Overwatch style hero gameplay so again i'll keep you updated on this game but let me know also how it's going in star wars battlefront classic collection download that patch 
Come back to this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your experience is like after the patch. I will see you all later. Take it easy and may the force be with you always.